Good morning, my beautiful beans and thing. We are back with Xenoblade Chronicles. I'm super excited. We found out they're putting people into the Mechon last week. So I've been really excited to see where that's going and exactly how this process goes. I don't know if we'll find out about that today, but we'll find out something I'm sure that will keep me intrigued. Hopefully it'll keep you intrigued. Hey, Shulk, I really need to talk to you. It's serious. Me and Paula had this big public falling out and it's so embarrassing. So, I just, this child saying public falling out. Oh, Ryan and you, what? Silly really, we argued about who's the child. <laughs> what? what are you? How old are you, child? We argued about who's the strongest and hottest. I told her it was you, obviously. I need to go kill a dragon for me. And alone. What? Good child! Uh... Oh my gosh, can y'all- can y'all not? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can y'all- Can y'all stop? <laughs> y'all too young for this. Uh, I'll probably just... No. Yeah. There, there you go. <laughs> yeah, we're bros. Come on. No, no fighting. Oh, hi. Yes. Thoron. We want to build, rebuild Colony 6 and restore it to its former glory. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have a lot of work to do. To, to move everyone back from the camp, but Riku Bridge has been taken by a pack of ferocious monsters, so no one can cross it. Uh, yeah, that's definitely not good. Let's go. We have to do something. That bridge is the only way to move refugees back safely. Them stuck on one side and me on the other while stuck. Yeah, cool. We can do that. Yep, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Yay, we can refill colony six. Ooh. Okay. Oh, reconstruction HQ. Oh. Looks like it was some sort of do oh gosh, this is giving me stray vibes. The the, the do oh my gosh. Uh Oh, I'm sad. Alright, um, well there's not much here. But, uh, we have some. Why are you just, like, chilling there? Ryan, what are you doing? Ryan, are you stuck? Okay. I think you kind of got stuck. We have collected some of our side quests and are ready to move on to the main story. Right, what awaits us around this bend? Is it just a little bit of lore? Is it some terrible, you know, happening? Who knows with this game? You never know. Oh, wait, what's this? It looks like some sort of, oh. Wait, what? Oh. Hi. Lady Melia, withdraw to the Nopon village and let us handle this beast. No, Idol. Do you really expect me to leave you, run away and save myself? Permit us this once, Lady Melia. It is our honor and our duty to protect you with our lives. Do not fear for us. Flee. I will not. I cannot return to the capital with this monster still standing. Who? What is this thing? I want it as a pet. <laughs> it's very pretty, but also kind of terrifying. Uh, uh, who are you? What's happening? What is this thing? Oh, Garin. Damil. 
Bestow the light of your life unto me. What does that mean? What just happened? Are we just <sighs> who turned up the heat? I've never seen such a dense forest. Me neither. How much further? This must be the back of the Bionis. If Shulk's vision is right, we've still got a long way to go. Mm. Wait, is that water above us? You mean go on in this heat? I'm sweatier than a brog's armpit. <laughs> we'll have to search for the best I like this. Sadly, until we find a way, we'll have to put up with Rhine's stench. <laughs> Sharla? Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this. Well, how's that water? Is there like a force field? Oh. We must be outside the tower. Welcome, true heir to the monarch. Okay, so we, we, we. Father. Partner up with her. We, we can it. Okay, we, we partner what? up with her. Or who are you? Who's this like? You will pay for what you've done. Okay. You will know the pain and suffering you caused the Emperor and Fiora! I'm trying to get clues here. Alright. A silver faced Mechon. And who was that girl? Ooh, silver faced one. That was a different one. Places I'd never seen. If only I could find out what they mean, we could use them to our advantage. Look over there. A rope bridge. It looks Homs made. Ooh. Not Homs. Nopon. Though a lot of them have settled in our colonies, the Nopon are originally native oh. to Magna Forest. Really? Do you think they'd know the way to the Bionis head? Uh, I can't say. But walking around in circles isn't going to achieve anything. Our yes. best bet is to look for their village. Fair enough. Good plan. Oh. Uh, what happened? What did she do? Wait, are we not supposed to go this way? Oh, that's fine. We'll go this way anyways. Ooh. Oh my gosh! Why is this game so pretty? This is like a much older game, I know, but... It's still super pretty. Look at this. I just need to take photos. What? This would murder me. Oh, wait. Is there a path down? I think there might be a path down. Oh my gosh. Oh! Yeah, things to murder. Alright. I have no idea if this is where I'm supposed to be going. No, this is the opposite of the way I'm supposed to be going. Uh, this is Kathy's life. This is fine. It's fine. I just want to come over here because it's so pretty. And also, there might be fun things over here. Who knows? Ah, a landmark. There we go. That's what we needed. We are fairly close to where I think we need to find that girl. Yeah. She should be here. Maybe? Oh! Found her. Over there. Hey, are you okay? You. Oh, he's like, I recognize you. Uh, ah. Shulk, what's wrong? Another vision? <laughs> kind of. I'm not sure. Hi. But first, she needs help. Yes. You're right. Let's look for somewhere safe. There, I see a clearing under a giant tree. We can easily watch for anything approaching. Okay. Hey, we have a new friend. Who is new friend? What What are her abilities? She hasn't sustained any serious injuries, but her condition is far from stable. Do you know what's wrong with her? Over exhaustion? Her symptoms suggest ether deficiency. It's well known that Homs are strongly affected by ether levels in the environment. But I've never seen symptoms like this before. 
Hmm. A sudden drop in ether content in the surrounding atmosphere causes a reaction. Symptoms range from fatigue to nausea. But in this girl's case... What can we do? We're gonna need watertight ether crystals. I'll load the crystals into a cartridge to shoot from the <laughs> We're gonna shoot her. Yeah. <laughs> no, silly. I'll fire them into the air and the dispersed ether will heal her. Ah. Oh, that's what I thought. <laughs> the problem is the crystals. <laughs> we can't just use any old crystal. They must be as pure as possible. This area must have a water source nearby. We should search there first. We found a few. I spotted a waterfall a little way back. What do you think, Charlotte? Would a waterfall produce pure crystals? I can't think of a better place. Nice. Then it's decided. I'll search for the crystals. Hey, you're not going on your own. I'll be okay. I need you to look after the group. We're short on water, too. So I'll fill up our flasks. Hey, good idea. Take care, man. Uh, I mean, we could take one of y'all. Probably seems like a good idea. At least have one of y'all. All right. Um. Okay. Um. Uh, here. Or? I found like a deposit before. Okay, let's check our map. Yeah, that's where I thought it was. Hey, past me did something right. Quest complete. Uh oh. Huh? Uh huh? Who are you? Hello. <laughs> hello there. You're just like. Uh, uh, hello. How unusual. It is quite rare to see a Homs in this region. Hmm. I. <laughs> I suppose you're wondering why I am here in that case. Uh, yeah, maybe just a little. Permit me to introduce myself. My name is Alvis. Well, hello, Alvis. Alvis? Um, my name's... It's Shulk. All right, Isn't stalker. Uh, how did you know that? Wielder of the Monado, defender of Colony 9, the hero that has every mech on running. Eh? You're famous amongst all Homs. Really? I am? I know you from somewhere. Oh? Huh? They're here. Huh? The Monado emits a particular ether wavelength in its ground state. It must have drawn them. Oh no. I knew terrible things would happen! How do you know this? I don't know if I trust you, dude. From the left? Then I'll go. Huh? Oh. 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 Can they see what you see? How? Now, from above. Ooh. False visions. He's just standing there, like, all right, let's see what you got, dude. It can't be. I saw its movement before it struck. How can it? It is a telethia. You can see what you see. Telethia. They can read your mind. Ah. Whether you have a vision or not, if they know your next move, it's all in vain. Okay. Just you, you know about my visions. How could you possibly? There is only one way. Stop it in its tracks, then dull its perception. No, Alvin, stop! You don't know how to. What? What? Oh, a new symbol. <laughs> Who is this person? 
Uh, I mean, the Monado was put somewhere. You th that was amazing. Hey, you're not the only one that. You stop staring. The sword is yours to wield. What was that light? The Monado does not control itself. You control it. Mm -hmm. I'm very confused, but intrigued. All right. Was he a part of the expedition? By the light of the Monada. I will stop them. All right. Oh, new symbol. Ooh. Battle time. Okay. Uh, where's Perch? Perch, there we go. Okay, there we go. To the back. And then... Nope, make use of this. Oh, shoot. Let's remove that. Okay. I think I need to do the Perch again. Wait, no, did I even do it? There we go. Perfect. Nope. Good. All right. All right. I guess maybe break. And then lost stray. Oh, okay. Chain zero damage. What? Oh, because I hadn't used. Okay. Okay, we gotta charge this. <clears throat> Alright, why can I... I need to do some attacks, but I can't do any because... Uh, wait, well I'm missing, so I can't charge this, so... I'm not sure what I'm... Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. Oh. Either scatter. Oh. All right. Let's see. It's it's taking a little bit to get a hang of this, but Can we warn him? Warn Elvis. There we go. Okay, encourage him. Okay, let's heal this dude. Come on. Alright, oh. Shockwave. Oh, shoot. Okay, let's warn him. Shoot. Uh, can I not warn him? I'm trying to warn him, but. Shoot. Okay, well. Alright. Uh, shoot. Okay, I can't do this. Ah, uh, how do I charge this if I can't? Ah, I don't know how to let the area. Okay. That's gonna take him out. Right. Okay. Wait, uh. Okay. Uh, come on. Okay, let's go. Come on. Come on. All right. Ah. Come on. So, so close. So close. Come on. Oh. Oh. Well. But who are you? Thank you. Hey. Wait a second. More importantly, where on Bionis did you learn to use the Monado? <laughs> they were not the primary Telethia. Merely its spawn. What? The primary Telethia dwells elsewhere in Machna Forest. That's not the answer to my question. Wounded. I see. 
The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest. Again. By a girl. A girl? The Monado is a divine sword capable of disturbing the very fabric of existence. Of both the material and the immaterial. How do you know this? How do you know so Thank much you. about the Monado? You are not answering no, my questions. You. Slap him with said Monado. If he doesn't answer. Shulk! Shulk! Huh? That's Ryan. I'm over here. And he's gonna be gone, isn't he? Shulk, we looked all over for you. Thought you'd been eaten by the forest. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. I got attacked by Telethia. If it hadn't been for Alvis, I wouldn't have survived. Alvis? Who's that? I'll introduce you. He's the one that... Yep. Alvis? He, he disappeared. I knew it! Uh, there's no one here. I'm telling you, he was right here. He even taught me how to unlock a new power from the Monado. Just you and me, Shulk. Ain't no one else around. He's just like, I'm just imagining him diving under the water, just like gonna hide Come under on. there. Wait till the others hear this. <laughs> he was here, Ryan. I didn't dream it. I'm not lying. Okay, okay. I believe you. And while you were having fun with your imaginary friend, did you find any ether crystals? Yes. yes. Good quality ones, too. Perfect. Come on. We should hurry them back to Charlotte. So that thing that was attacking her was the Telethia. Imaginary beast. <laughs> I'm not lying. I mean, you believe that he's seeing visions of the future, but Alvis. not. Who are you? That he met someone. Is he just hiding on this little island? <laughs> So many questions. Ah! Game, don't do this to me. An enemy that renders your visions useless. This forest holds many surprises. Not least creatures we've never seen before. And now we know there is another who can use the Monado. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to meet him. So you weren't just having a sneaky nap then? No. I'm just saying. You and Dunban are the only ones I know that can wield the Monado. How would this guy know how? Magic. Okay, locked and loaded. Everyone, stand back. You don't want to absorb the ether that's meant for her. <sighs> Interesting. Again, healing people with the gun. I, I, I'm here for it. Yeah, she's coming round. All thanks to our medic. Are you okay? Where am I? In the forest. Everything's fine. You're gonna be. <gasps> Get your hands off me! Ah! Hey, watch it! F forgive me. I I did not mean to uh, sorry if we surprised you. <laughs> Are you the ones who helped me? Well, something like that. Excuse me. My name is Melia. Hello, Melia. Forgive my indiscretion. You're very formal. I have not had the pleasure of coming into contact with the male Homs. Coming into contact? Hey Shulk, you're creeping this lady out. <laughs> Mm, shut up, Ryan. This large one is far worse. Me? <laughs> <laughs> I like her already. <laughs> She's just like, I'm just gonna insult you. Melia, is it? <laughs> How did you get here then? What, is there no one with you? I must apologize, but my situation does not concern you. And I shall not be divulging anything to common passers by. Duly noted, your ladyship. But if I were to be so bold. I'm guessing that you didn't come here alone, and you weren't just taking an afternoon nap. Yeah, it's pretty logical. 
And what, may I ask, are you doing here? It is rare to see Homs venture this deep into Machna Forest. We're traveling to the head of the Bionis. We've got a long journey ahead of us. <laughs> the head of the Bionis? We were just figuring out how to get there when we found you. I see. Then permit me to return the favor by aiding you in your quest. Really? There is only one path to the head of the Bionis. It is the path that leads to Erith Sea. Ooh, there's so a sea. This Erith Sea is at the head of the Bionis. If you would be kind enough to escort me out of the forest, I will show you the way. You... you do that? Thank you, Melia. I'm Shulk. Pleased to meet you. Shulk? Ah, yes. Likewise. <laughs> she's so unimpressed. She's high and mighty. But she's a Homs too, right? Why is she here alone? <laughs> Ain't got a clue. Ask her yourself. I'm not good with her posh accent. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, if we have more than colonies six and nine then. We shall travel to the Nopon village. Nopon village? That's where we've been heading. We reckon it's our best chance of making it to the top. Since inhabiting the region, the Nopon have been a great help. You can travel to Erith Sea from their village. Oh, very good. Settled. We'll make our way to the Nopon village. Very well. The Nopon inhabit a giant tree. If we follow this trail, we will be safe. Ooh, can we put her into our party and see? All right. Oh my gosh. We have a new friend. I don't know if I would call them friend, but uh, these lanterns, I want them. They're cute. Village entrance. All right. Do we make friends? This is the entrance to Frontier Village. So this big tree is where the Nopon live. Yeah. Hi. Hello, friend. Ah, bird lady. Welcome back, bird lady. I wish to speak with the village chief. Bird Will you lady. To enter? What do you mean, bird lady? Is it because her hat Lisa. looks like wings? I shall take you to the village chief. Follow me. Hmm. Oh, does her staff have wings on it or something? I'm trying to figure out why they're calling her bird lady. Ooh, oh, we're on its wings. Where's all this snowy thing that we saw in the past? Oh, hi. Oh my gosh. Hello. Hello, all the friends. <gasps> Am I in heaven? <laughs> Look at them all. They're so cute. I'm here. I'm here. I'm who? I'm who? Okay. Winnie the Pooh here. Me want touch hum hum. Me want nibble hum hum. <laughs> Home, home, scary. Oh. I love them all so much. Oh, hi. Nopon of Frontier Village. Melia Antigua has returned. I request an audience with your chief. Chief, will you hear my request? Melia here. Bird lady here. Why is she bird lady? Bird lady back. Bird lady? <laughs> That's my question. Why is she bird lady? I love you. My dear Melia, it's good to see you again so soon. And you look so well. And what of your men? <laughs> they are at one with the Bionis. They sacrifice their lives so that I'm going to escape. But this is not my reason for coming. These Homs need your help. I thought she was referring to them. To listen to their request. <laughs> What could a hum hum need of me? They require safe passage to Erith Sea. I see no reason to deny them. And Melia, what of you? I have unfinished business in this region. Once these homs are safely on their way, I shall be on mine as well. Let's go. That girl. Something's troubling her. Yeah. We found her half dead and all alone. 
But I don't suppose she'll tell us the reason. Let's do some reconnaissance. I'll go and talk to her. Uh, I don't know if, how willing she is to talk. We could do reconnaissance with the the no pong. They might tell us something. All right, we have some quests here. Oh, hi. Iki's house. Wait. Oh, uh, no. Hi. Are you going to Iki's house? Ooh. Well, hi. This is a very cute little house. I, I approve. Are you Riki? No. Oh. Who is this Riki? So, hey. Uh, you okay? You don't seem okay. Let's talk. Amelia, you're welcome to come with us. Is it true? Were you alone in the forest? <sighs> that thing must be stopped by my hand. This is my pledge to those that have died. Why are you fighting it in the is first place? Wounded. I see. The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest. Wounded by a girl. Wounded by a girl? You don't mean you're going to fight the Telethia? <gasps> How do you know of the Telethia? <laughs> when I went to collect the ether crystals, some Telethia attacked me. I managed to destroy them and get away. Ah. You defeated Telethia. Who who are you? <laughs> I'm Shulk. We've met. The Monado. So that sword can To tell the truth, they were the Telethia spawn. Someone told me the primary Telethia is healing somewhere in the forest. It was you, wasn't it? You hurt the Telethia. Yes, it... but why? Melia. The Telethia escaped from our homeland, and I am tasked with killing it. Why? Why do you it need to? not remain free, for the sake of my people and the Nopon, it must be stopped. Why don't we just catch Melia, it? Why? Why? Why do you? I can help you defeat it if you like. Out of pity. No. Why then? It's just, I, I want. Speak, Shulk, or I shall be forced to summon the Nopon chief to interpret for me. <laughs> I would like to help. What could you possibly gain from aiding me? Just being nice? I saw it. At the top of a black tower. You and I were fighting together. Fighting that faced Mekon. I also saw you fighting a huge Telethia. It threw me the first time and all. Hmm. Forgive me, Shulk, but what are you talking about? I can see the future. Shulk can see visions yeah, of this the future. Fine. See the future? And you expect me to believe this rubbish? Believe what you want, lady. Same as I tell all the non-believers. <laughs> That'll be me then. <laughs> oh yeah. In any case, <laughs> the only reason we got this far was because of Shulk's visions. If Shulk says he saw you in a vision, then you must be important to whatever happens next. Yeah. And if you're tough enough to fight a face mech on, you're all right in my book. <laughs> You've got my vote. A lady should not go unaccompanied onto the battlefield. <laughs> Excuse me? I... I am quite capable of dispatching the beast alone. I require no assistance of any kind. Uh, madam, you had people there. They died. My dear, I apologize, but I could not help overhearing. And also, you, we found you half dead. Sounds quite reasonable. The danger extends much further than our small dwelling. Machna itself is at risk. And we shall provide you with the finest warrior of our clan. Oh my Chief gosh. Dunga, I... uh, no need for thanks. He is the equal, if not better, of I our need home this. Home. Is this Riki? listening. The chosen Nopon hero will await you below. I shall go ahead and is this <laughs> him. Please excuse me. I can't imagine I'm these things hero. fight. Now this I, have to say, <laughs> I love it. Be like that. Let's meet him first. Oh my gosh. I am a hundred percent excited. I, I want friend. Friend. I am Ah it's taking too long. I must meet this Nopon warrior. We will be the best of friends. I hope. Let's just grab this super quickly. 
fellow bracelet, but I get eaten now. <laughs> I think they got it in one piece. Must be lying somewhere near. Uh... Dude, um... Well. It's something. All right. Let's meet your warrior. May I introduce Herapon Ricky. Oh, he's got two names. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're just playing volleyball with the Nopon. I love him so much. <laughs> He's just like, hi. Why? Why do you do this to me? Chomp chomp! This year's <laughs> Well I love him. New hum hum friends. Meet this year's legendary hero upon Ricky. Ricky live to serve. This year's? Oh my gosh, it's so good. I will protect you with my life. Yes. Sure. <laughs> Are these two that here as strong as they sound? Yes. Yeah. They're quick as lightning and can read your mind. A mind reading giant bird. Not a problem, it's fine. I could see their movement through the Monado. But even that's not enough to get the better of them. And we're going up against the daddy version. Oh. No one blink for a second. Okay. Eyes wide open. Just and tape them up. Melia is our only chance of making it to Eric's sea. If anything happens to our guide, it's on our heads. The Telethia is our target, but don't forget about the person standing next to you. Got that it. Right. I am in your debt. My weaknesses are all too apparent. No, it's fine. No worries, you, you got your own strengths. We balance each other out. Of the dino beast, what you oh, hi. We the have a friend. <laughs> Ricky's friends, listen to Ricky. Dino Beast is big and scary. <laughs> I love him friends, so much. Get ready. Friends, help Ricky get ready. You want us to get equipment for you? Ricky's friend, right? Hum hum clever. Friends meet Ricky when ready. Then, friends and Ricky leave together. Big attitude for a furry <laughs> footrest. <laughs> Dino Beast is big and scary. Great. Is it just me, or did we suddenly become Nopon mercenaries? <laughs> we just... Oh my gosh. Here upon Ricky, some brand new equipment for free. You just need to collect it. Okay. That's not so bad. Oh my gosh. I love it. Not really a dino beast attack. Well, maybe not quite that good. Anyways, do your best. Okay, cool. And then can we just warp up to where we need to go? Yeah, no. Alright, it's fine. There we go. <laughs> Alright, found our way. Do do do! Are you going to kill Donner Beast? Ricky? Good weapon. Good book here upon Ricky. Supporting you. We're ready. Ready for hair upon Ricky. Oh, what? Ready to go! 
Come, new friends. Ricky's adventure what begins. Is that? Ricky, you do know where the Teletia is, don't you? Of course, Ricky, no. Melly, Ricky, here you hurt Dino Beast. Melly? But only a little. When Dino Beast hurt, Ricky, no, it go to place with ether crystals. Ooh. Friends and Ricky go to place with crystals. Then we find Dino Beast. Chief, oh, I guess it. Tell Ricky. Chief, always right. So you do know a thing or two about this monster. Ah. Guess we'll be searching for some ether crystals then. No, no pun, mercenaries. I am fine with this. Why are you licking? Ricky. Oh, hi. Why are you the hero pawn? Yeah. Why? Because Chief Dunga chose Ricky. He chose you. So you weren't chosen from birth. Friend no. Wrong. Chief chose by instinct. Instinct. <laughs> by instinct. Why, friend, surprised? Chief have sharp instinct. Chief be village seer. Fair enough. So that's how you became the hero pawn. Can I argue with that? that? Yeah. But he is kind of compact for a warrior hero. Oh, Ricky owe lots of monies to village. If Ricky defeat Dino Beast, village promise to. Why do you have that? So Why do you have? What have you done to rack up so many debts? All right. <laughs> I need, I need, oh my gosh. Okay, we have hero pawn. <laughs> ah! Cutest thing ever and I love you and I will protect you. Oh, we found something. There we go. Still good. Oh, they smell a little bad. I can feel the power. I'm... I'm judging the snow pond. Time to take on a Telethia. What is this? Ricky never see before. This not Ricky's Machna. Ricky never see before. Oh. To think it has caused this much damage. What do you mean? Are you telling me the Telethia did this? Oh. Telethia absorb and drain the surrounding area of all its ether. That's oh. it. The Telethia is sucking up all the ether, which is causing the natural environment to change. Shulk, the Telethia can read your mind. Expect it to know what you will do before you do it. Yes. I know. I'll aim for its antenna and stop its ability to read my thoughts. With the Monado at our side, it doesn't stand a chance. It's much more powerful than its offspring. Do not expect it to fall so easily. I won't. But we have to trust in the Monado. All right. Shulk has only met Telethia once, and they were merely the spawn. Hmm. So why is he so sure of himself? Is it confidence or a trust in something? Must, must think. Yes. It is trust. Trusts in the power of that sword. What did he say it was called? The Monado. The Monado. I see. Oh. Da da da. Oh. Hi. Stick together, everyone. Come on, Nikki. You got this. It's Lethia. I take this chance to bring vengeance to my brethren and fulfill my duty. Show. I will trap it and cease its movement. Strike when the time is right. Melia. Yes. <gasps> oh. She's got some power behind her. Oh, yeah. She's nifty with that stuff. I knew it. She can control ether energy without using catalysts or rifle shells. Oof. I've heard that such people exist. But I never thought she would be one of them. Shulk, right, Shala. Protect Melia at all costs. Very good. Right. Ah! Do we get to actually fight? Oh. 
Mind Blast. Ooh. Okay. Okay, I need to fight this thing. Make sure. I need to have... Oh shoot. No, I did not mean to do that. Shoot. Okay, we need to do auto attack. Because I need to... Okay. Is any... Or I don't know if it has one, but it probably is good to do. Alright, let's go. Okay, this one. Oh, shoot. Okay, uh. Alright, come on. Let's make sure. Oh, I'm stuck. Not okay. Oh, sh okay. He's got the regenerate thing, but uh, okay. Oh, sh oh, shoot. Ah, no, okay. Yeah, oof. Okay, shoot. Uh, don't know. Uh, sorry, I didn't. Oh. Okay. Okay, shield is good. Okay, come on, let's heal. Okay. Oh! Okay, we've done enough damage, I guess. Oh! Are you riding this thing? That seems to be a terrible idea. Oh. What the? I know he's thrown back. Sing. You got to be kidding me. Uh, it's no good. My ether shots are having no effect. Its regenerative power is too much. It is all right, Shulk. Destroying the Telethia is beyond us. We should cut our losses and mourn those who perished. No. Never, Melia. The men you lost, I can tell they were dear to you. And he knows what I that know feels like. You too well that desire for revenge. And the crushing pain of losing those close to you. I can't stand by and let another person experience what I have. This monster is going down. I'll trap him with the Monado. Then the rest of you hit the Telethia with everything. Yeah, come on. Thank you. We've got this. Ready? Uh -huh. All right. So what do we need to do? I don't know what we need to do. I guess. Okay, so it's level 36. We're level 35. Uh, it's not the best plan, but... Oh, right. Now we can. Alright, let's... Break. Do that. And bind. Bind is good. Okay, and then we can stun it. Very good. And now we can move, maneuver into place. All right. Leon Telethia. Okay, let's go. Doesn't matter where we are there. Okay, make sure he's fine. No, I don't wanna. Okay. Okay, the Monado. Let's go. I should probably have used shield, but we're fine for now. We'll use shield next time. Okay. Alright, yeah, we've pulled the thing. Alright. 
It gives him a little bit of breathing room, I think. Come on. Where's... Oh, wait. Removes aura. Okay. I guess that was what we needed to do. Mm, I'm sorry. I should have used shield. Oh, uh, wait. No, no. Shoot. Oh, wait. Okay, we're good. Oh. Uh, of course, it's going to go after him. Okay, we'll get shield. All right. Warn rain. Shield. And then... She's angry. Oh, they're calling her male. All right, shield. Okay. Wait, I'm stuck. Why can't I move? Okay, here we go. That's fine. Okay, chain attack. All right, let's break. Topple. And knock it out just a little bit. Perfect. Okay, okay, I wanna use. Oh shoot, I need to. Okay, I need to. Okay. Still protects. Okay, I need to not be the focus right now, though. Okay, did we do it? <gasps> did we do it? Oh, hi, Dan! Oh my gosh. Ricky! Ricky! Oh, yes, we got this. Come on. Come on, we, we got this. Smack it! Take out the heads at the same time. Oh my gosh, you have like one arm. Yes! Yes! Okay, it just disappeared. What exactly happened here? Brilliant thinking. Even though the Telethia can absorb large amounts of ether energy and regenerate at an incredible rate, absorbing so much energy caused it to implode. Yes. Who would have thought? Brute force wins again. <laughs> Nothing like an old fashioned scrap. Dixon would have been proud. It was the only way I could think of. If there had been another way. Don't listen to Dunban. Soon you and that Monado will be unstoppable. We got it. It's like a Tefra cave. It was almost natural, instinctive. The Monado responded to me, and I harnessed a new power. You'll get your chance, Shulk. We'll turn that face mech on into scrap. We're, we're making progress. Oh. That's what keeps me Oh, going. she's just so sad in the background. Oh, God. Garin. Damiel Eisel. Are you there? I did it. It's dead. Did you see? I thank you for your aid in my cause. Justice has been served. You're welcome. Besides, it was mostly you. Dino Beast! Here upon Ricky, ready for round two! <laughs> Bless you! Hey, hey! The fight over already? No, Ricky, not no! <laughs> I'm afraid it's all finished. <laughs> we couldn't have done it without you, brave little here upon. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh, Ricky brave. I mean, you didn't run. Also a little brave. Ricky happy happy. <gasps> Why are you so stinking cute? Here upon Ricky, be proud. Here upon Ricky, tough guy. Here upon Ricky, bestest! Look at him. Barely hit a toe and he gets all the praise. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Let him have his glory. A few days ago, the villagers wouldn't give him the time of day. He's just Besides, so happy. Won't you miss him just a <gasps> We know bit? he doesn't get to join us. Ricky beat Dino Beast. Does Ricky still have debt? No, Ricky. Your debts are repaid. However, while you were gone, your little ponds <laughs> ate like ravenous oluga. <laughs> Said Chief Dunga back quite a bit. No pawn, no frontier village. <laughs> a new prophecy has been told. Oh no. Told. Our hero born slayer of Dino Beast will further his legend <laughs> by yes. the home home This is the best battles, outcome I could, uh, you know, ask for. To the lands of Bayonis. Oh, Ricky never hear this. It was prophesied many years ago. Chief lying! Chief, make a prophecy one minute ago! Oh, Ricky mad! <laughs> I mean, Ricky, to be fair. Go with these people! For the sake of the village, you must go! Slug <laughs> wants to get rid of them. Is never wrong. Oh. Oh. Do not worry, Ricky. Your little funds will be taken care of. <laughs> Dadapon stomach rumble. Dadapon need food. Dadapon need food now. Dada, Ricky, what on by honest is going on? Friends, meet Ricky, wifey pon, and little pon. Oh, they're so you cute. You've got to be joking. <laughs> Wife and children. Ricky, how old are you? Ricky have 40 years. <laughs> oh, friends, <laughs> puzzled. Not puzzled. Just surprised. Yes. Ricky! Oka borrow monies for Little Pond's food. Chief Danga know best. Ricky must work for Little Pond's to have good life. <laughs> Ricky will! <laughs> okay, Oka! Ricky, happy to join friends! Ryan happy too. Come on, Furball. <laughs> I <laughs> I don't know what half of these accents are, but I love them. Now you can return with your head held high, my dear. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you, Dunga. My thanks for your gracious help. Not at all. Peace has been restored to the Machna region. On behalf of all Nopon, thank you. Oh. Chief Dunga is very fond of Melia. Same hom hom, different world. Not fair if you ask me. <laughs> Chief Dunga, will you kindly grant these homs passage to Aerith Sea? It is my promise to them. Without question! These hom hom fought valiantly in aid of our village. Yay! And a request by you, my dear, cannot go unanswered. I shall inform the villagers at once. You are too kind. <laughs> All right. Chief has spoken. You should depart for Erith Sea at once. Prepare your things and see me when you are ready. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Perfect. All right. You're ready to go. Melia. What will you do now? I would like to repay you for your help. Permit me to act as your guide to Aerith Sea. Of course. We'd love you to. But I must warn you. Aerith Sea is vast. Do you know where you wish to go? There's a dark tower at the head of the Bionis. I saw it in a vision. That's where I must go. A dark tower? Then we need not search at all. So you've heard of it? Heard of it? I have seen it. Oh? A dark tower at the head of the Bayonis. Only one place fits that description. So you know it. I believe what you saw was Prison Island. Yes. Prison Island. Dixon said the same thing. Yep. Indeed. Melia, have you ever been there? I have not set foot upon the island. But I know of it. Prison Island is sealed. No one may enter without Imperial sanction. Imperial sanction, eh? 
That means we'll be needing someone to grant us entry. Oh. I've heard that Aerith Sea is home to an empire ruled by the High Entier. They might be our best chance. You are knowledgeable for a Homs. <laughs> Sanctions, empires. Anyone help here? Oh, a sanction is permission from someone important. An empire <laughs> must be a place ruled by an emperor. In other words, we need an emperor's permission to enter the island. This emperor, is he important? Long <laughs> yes. Long before we Homs built the colonies, a group of so-called royal types or imperials ruled our lands. All right. Give them like the heads of our colony, but with much greater influence and power. Now Just bigger here. ones. Dumban knows more than a textbook. Are you kidding? That's first year Homs history, Rhine. <laughs> I might have slept through that class. So when do we get to meet these high end tier folks? <laughs> She's just staring at him with such oh, judgment. First, we must travel to the Imperial capital. We'll see how easy it is to see this Emperor. My promise was to be your guide. I will not break it. Melia, isn't that the... Huh? Isn't that the what? The shortcut to Aerith Sea. Yes. All right, well, let's go. How do we get up there? Oh. Do we? All the way up there. I, oh, hi, transport guide. Getting sent you to air to sea in a flash of light. Are you ready to go? Yes. <laughs> Are we gonna be shot by like a geyser? Oh. Magic? Oh. What is it? Friends jumping ball? <laughs> All go to Eris. Jump? In that? You're nuts, Furball. Just push him. You have nothing to fear. This will take us to Eris Sea. Oh. Very nice. Just push him. Come on, Ryan. You can do it. Your soldier, dude. He, you got this. <laughs> oh. Ooh. <gasps> oh. Now we're getting more. Oh no! They just teased. That's the end of chapter seven. Oh my gosh, what? No, 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 you can't do this to me. Well, I guess we'll have to see like the beginning of this. <laughs> what? How again is this so pretty? Ah. Who would have thought Aerith Sea was right on top of Ricky's village? Dive deep enough, you can reach their tree. <laughs> Perhaps you should try. <laughs> Might do. Haven't decided yet. <laughs> she, she's judging. She's judging so hard. Is something wrong? Aren't you curious? About why we're going to Prison Island, I mean. It is not common for Homs to visit this region. You mm. may have good reason, but forgive me. I do not pry into other people's business. It's definitely bugging her, Shulk. <laughs> how, how dare you, you clown. <laughs> you okay, clown. Maria. We're not strangers anymore. We're friends. <sighs> well, so you're I... allowed to smack Ryan. You're right. So then you'll listen to our story.
Yes, sure. Tell me why you are here. Basically, it all started when. Oh, good. Is Kiki going to say something about See, this? I had heard about the mech on assault on the lower regions, but did not know the situation was so grave. How lucky we are. Hey, what's that? What's what? Oh, was this Prison Island? Is that? You are looking at Prison Island. Oh. So that's Prison Island. Yes, and that is the Imperial Capital, Alchemist. <gasps> Making it to the Imperial Capital. It's not just me, right? A floating city is a bit weird. <laughs> Built with superior defenses in mind. Incredible. What technology makes this possible? Ah, yes, the researcher. You know, and I've never had the need to. You don't know. It doesn't freak you out. You can eat bread without knowing how to bake it. Makes sense to me. <laughs> you will need Imperial sanction to enter Prison Island. Okay. We will travel to the capital first. And how do you expect us to get up there? Fly? There is a transporter up ahead. We can use that. Ooh, okay. We've been deep sea diving. Now we're gonna fly. This place gives me the creeps. <laughs> I guess we don't have a choice. Right. Onwards to the capital. <laughs> Still. What is it, Dunban? It's a sight to behold. Those look like anti mech on defense systems. Ooh. That would explain. Why don't you share? All right, I think we had a very productive day today. We managed to fight a Telethia. Well, first we murdered its babies and then we murdered it. I mean, it was terrorizing the Nopon, so it had to go. We met Melia, we met Riki, who... Riki is love. Riki needs to be protected at all costs. <laughs> Melia can hold her own. She's fine. Riki, Riki is just sweet bean that must be protected. I don't care, he's 40 years old. <laughs> I, I am so happy about this. Before I get comments that go along the lines of Good madam, you are pronouncing Ricky's name wrong. I know. I know I am. But blame Oka! Because the scene with Oka, they pronounce it a little more like Riki. Riki! Oka borrow monies for little pond's food! And I started doubting myself, and I kept forgetting to listen carefully afterwards. Also, Kaffi has been in Japan for too long, and R-I-K-I would be pronounced more like Riki. Blame this scene. I actually do this for a while. I might switch back and forth, I'm not certain. I kept doubting the pronunciation and kept forgetting to check. I don't know how long I do this, and for that I apologize. But I promise you, current day Kaffi knows how to pronounce Ricky's name now. But I've already recorded the videos and there's nothing I can do about past Kaffi being dumb. With that little PSA out of the way, let's get into the comments. Our first comment is from the ever lovely Opal Leafeon. It is obviously just his pure Dunbanness that makes it possible. Also, Merry Christmas to you and your kitties. Thank you very much. Absolutely, Dunban is amazing enough to get his own new word. Dunbanness. I approve. That is a great word. He's pretty amazing. Anyways, thank you for that comment. And our next comment is from Ontos. Something neat. Try talking to Desiree in Colony 9. Might take a few times, but there's some interesting dialogue. Oh, I absolutely know about this. I'm probably going to put out like a little mini video just with my revelation of this because I found it off stream and had an absolute meltdown about this. So if I can find the weekday video where I talk about this, I'm absolutely making that into its own little mini video. It's already going to be New Year's here in Japan when I release this video. So I would like to wish you a very happy New Year. And as always, have a good day, have a good night, wherever and whenever you are, and I'll see y'all soon.